Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to be discussing Bend Toward the Sun by Jen Devon. The first few minutes, we're going to do a brief review of the story without any spoilers. Then we are going to shift into a deeper book discussion, which is going to include spoilers, but we will let you know before we do shift into that deeper book discussion. Right. So Amy, go ahead and give us a brief description of what Bend Toward the Sun is all about. When a woman decides to help a large family restore a winery after being hurt by her former fiancé, she begins to fall for one of the family's sons who has come to the winery to find healing after losing a patient in his West Coast practice. This story has friendship, humor, and a big family with lots of family dynamics. Sarah, what did you think about Ben Toward the Sun? Okay, you know I loved this story, and I have to say I messaged this author on Instagram and had a little back and forth with her. I did. I had a little (laughs) back and forth with her because I loved it, loved it, loved it. It put me in a book hole. I I just, it was so good. First of all, there's something about a story that has a vineyard in it that's just so romantic and just, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I love it. And I love the family dynamic. I knew you would. (laughs) I love the family dynamic. I love these two characters. I love the learning experience that they kind of go through each. They kind of have to take their own journey. It was just one of these books. I I loved it. Literally, I loved the cover. And from the first page to the very end, I was obsessed. I cannot gush enough. I loved (laughs) this story so much. I will read it over and over and over again. It gives me all the feels. We, what did you think? <laughs> we love stories with big family dynamics, as you know. And I especially love those stories where the big family comes together mm-hmm. to work on a business. Now, usually that comes in the form of a cowboy romance. So I was delighted to discover that this story is not a cowboy romance, yeah. but we get that family business. The camaraderie of the family is so special. It's mm-hmm. engaging. The humor in this book, oh, chef's so kiss, good. so delightful. It was so special, this story. It's going to stay with me for a it's, really long time. It's so well written. Yes. It's just intelligent, and it's so well done. I I. I love it. And did I mention the humor? (laughs) The humor is so good. It's, this is one of the best books that I've read. I mean, we read, we read a lot and we read a ton of good stuff, but this one is just it's, it's really it becomes like one of your favorites, like one of your babies. <laughs> so it's All going right. on the top shelf. <laughs> let's let's get into our ratings. Okay. Angst. Angst. Now, I could probably go higher with this, but I didn't because it just you you'll understand when you read it. It was a two for me. I did two point seven five. Yeah. See, you could go higher, mm-hmm. but I wasn't. I was just so chill throughout this. I I don't know. It just it has some angsty moments. It yeah, does. There's some drama. There's mm-hmm. some inner struggles that the characters are dealing with that kind of bumped it up for me. But yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. I see what you say. Mm-hmm. All right, humor. Humor. Okay. I put a 2.75. I feel like I could go higher. I think you should. Okay, well I will. I will <laughs> I will go 3.25. Okay, I did three and a half. Okay, well, I will go 3.5. <laughs> I'll go 3.5. I yeah. laughed out loud so much. I did too. Story. I did too. I I'm shocked. You sorry, started. Jen. I'm you started sorry. so low on that. I know. I, the Bad Sarah. Is... Start over. <laughs> 3.5. Here and now, folks. Jen, I'm sorry. I'll message you on Instagram. We'll chat. <laughs> the wittiness and the, the humorous dialogue of this family group is just the best. It's so, uh, it is. I wasn't even thinking about Duncan whenever I wrote this. (laughs) That's one of the family members. Yes, sorry, you know, just read it. Spiciness. Okay, spice. This was a 2.5. Same. It would, look at us. (laughs) I love it when we're together. I felt like it was done so incredibly well. She gives you just enough and it's written so well. I mean, people should take notes for how she did her scenes. Her intimate scenes were just, they were delightful. They were delightful. This was a slow burn for Mm -hmm. sure, but everything I felt like was tastefully done and just really, really well. So much so that I said to my husband, this is how scenes should be written. Mm-hmm. This is how I want to read. Yeah. Like, it was just it good was job. Perfect. Good job, Jen. All right, tears. Okay, tears. I did a two. Okay. I did cry. So, did you? Yeah, I really did. I cried at one, um, t- towards the end. I cried. <laughs> um, and, but yeah, I, but throughout I was sad, but there was one scene that I did actually cry. I'm way higher. I must have been emotional when I read this because I gave it three and a half. 
which is high. It's high for me. That's very high for me. I didn't even cry on this one. I, I was getting up. ready to say, did you cry? I didn't. I teared up. Maybe I was emotional when Hold I Hold on. You this. teared up like in your actual eyes yes, or I in your up. heart? <laughs> Maybe a combination of both. They didn't spill into my cheeks. So, but there are some situations and things that the main characters go through that really pull at your heartstrings. They and do. And that lent to my rating. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Overall, I'm sure you gave it a Shocker. <laughs> what did you it's give it? a five. <laughs> I'm so shocked you gave it a five. Shocker. I did four and a half. Wow. Come on. <laughs> it was Fuck great. it up. It's so good. It it's is It's like, if I could give it higher, I would. I just loved it. The book gives all the feels for sure. I especially enjoyed the humor and the family group. You won't be disappointed by this book. Mm -mm. So check it out. Check it out. I beg (laughs) you. It's so good. That concludes this spoiler-free quick review of this story. Now we're going to shift into the deeper book discussion. If you would like to follow along with our deeper discussion, simply click the link below or search on any available podcast platform by looking up Post Book Depression. And then we would love for you to connect with us on social media. You can find social media. You can find us on Instagram at Post Book Depression Podcast in our Facebook discussion group, Post Book Depression Discussion Group. And you can always email us at postbookdepressionpodcast at gmail.com.